Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming over here. You know we gotta get some mess started today. Cause I don't believe in coincidence, coincidences guys. I believe what's meant for you will be for you. And when you feel somebody's watching you and you didn't think they were watching you, you got proof. Especially when you do something and you don't expect something else to happen. What I'm basically saying is thank you, Portia, for Portia Williams from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Thank you. I celebrate you because <laughs> you celebrate me. Have you been looking at my videos, girl? Have you been looking at my videos? Or have some of your followers, your fanatics, come to you and said that I was over here discussing you and your comments and goings and how embarrassing you are looking out here in these streets trying to chase down old father time but some people call him dirty Simon I'm you know I'm kind of confused here and there it's just what he give me on whatever given day that I'm talking about him, okay but hey girl hey how you doing uh, but tell your little fanatics to stay off my channel with all that bullshit about, ooh, Portia's living her best life. Ooh, Portia doing it. Ooh, the haters of that, this, that, and third. Girl, if you were doing all that and then some, why the hell you was in a SUV or uh, van or, 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 I don't know what you call it, cab or something? Why were you not riding around in a two-seater? Okay, that two-seater Lamborghini that your boyfriend and his good friend were riding in. Okay, because he didn't want you over there, Portia. He didn't want you over there. And this came from your channel. Now, when I put them pictures out last night of Mr. Dave, David O or David O, it was off his Instagram page. You see, sweetie, it was off his Instagram page. And I find it very hilarious that you of all people will be watching little old me over here okay and then you had to put all these pictures on your instagram page thank you for giving me some more clear pictures okay some more clear pictures and just like i said i wasn't lying you were over there in your suv uh cruising down some lane some highway in nigeria because mr david o had took your man because see you weren't supposed to be there in the first place this was supposed to be something for them not you portia not you baby girl the man told you before he left home here in atlanta that he was going to see about his mom spend some time with her and kick it with the gang or kick it with his boys all right i didn't know his boys were younger than, Ooh, damn you probably look 25 30 years younger than him but okay he's trying to keep up with the keep up with the young thundercats all right i see it but girl i know you won't that david o or davido because that's more your style that's more your age group okay and the man is handsome he's beautiful let's thank the lord his mom and his dad okay for producing such a wonderful specimen of a man as far as the optics okay now somebody and my family, my YouTube family over here, told me that he is married, Portia. So why are you up there hanging on him like you his lady in that club? Girl, stop embarrassing yourself. What was Simon at this time? You were supposed to be hugging on Simon and singing your very uh, best song or this song that David O had wrote or DeVito had wrote. And you were sitting there hugging on him like, girl, he got a wife. He got a wife, girl, from what my family telling me. I know he got some children. He got three of them. All right. But, girl, why are you holding and hugging on him when Simon needed to be in the middle? You holding on Simon. Simon holding on to his chap, his friend, his good lucky buddy, you know. Because they didn't want you to be that person. They wanted to hang out with some women. He probably wanted to get his many your boyfriend simon he wanted to get the last hurrah before he sit there and become a married man again but you blew that for him you blew it for him by showing up unannounced i repeat showing up unannounced and you pretty much got your feelings hurt especially this particular night you tried to make like it's okay see that's the picture it's kind of blurred but that's mr 
handsome man DeVito or David O. And she hugging up on him. I'm like, this is where you need to be hugging up on father time. Okay. Father time that keeps the licking and can't keep ticking. Okay. Not on a, a wavelength such as David O over there. You see that he looked like he surprised that he looking at you like he don't supposed to be in that car. I know you probably gave him the third degree. Tried to throw each and every sanction you could find on his behind. But you knew you were outvoted. And that's just what they do over there in Nigeria. They have a code. Meaning a bro code. They ain't going to tell you what Simon was trying to do before you came. And what he wanted to do when you showed up unannounced. Okay. Breaking his pattern of wanting to be with the guys. And you know the guys just want to smoke cigars, drink, and tell lies. Okay. And fill up on some few girls here and there he probably was headed for the gentleman club i was gonna get something uh that night you just spoiled everything now how do you feel about that Porsche? how do you feel about that why your baby girl over here in the states over here in atlanta missing you something awful i am sure missing you something awful i mean it doesn't it doesn't matter if you sent her texts or video chatted her. You need to have your had your ass at home with her. If you're not doing business, baby girl, you need to be at home with your baby girl. Okay, because you don't look like you're happy. You look like you got an attitude. But see, if your butt stayed in the States, you would have been sitting there playing house, playing, having tea parties. I don't know, playing dress up with your baby girl. You're one and only. The one that makes your heart beat, okay, and makes it skip a beat every time she's in your arms. You see what I'm saying, Portia? No, you had to run way over to another damn continent to find your happiness. And look here, look here, look a look who comes cookie. You don't look happy. You don't look happy in that picture, girl. You're probably thinking what you're going to do to Simon to make him feel bad to leave you with the driver. And probably some other females. Because I don't know who was videotaping you. Or taking pictures of you. So it had to be somebody. And I don't think it was Lauren. Because if it was. Lauren would have been in some of them pictures. But I ain't see nothing of Lauren. And you took the girl out there. And then left her in a hotel room. While you went out and party. Girl that's piss poor. And that's messy as hell. I got messy as hell. But I thank you girl. I thank you. For sending all your fanatics over here. Trying to get me together when they gonna get blocked left and right. You know, I had to take care of a couple of them already today. Just tell your folks to be nice when they come over here. Because we ain't really saying nothing. Or I ain't really saying nothing that you really don't need to hear. You need to hear everything I'm saying. Because the man that you were rubbing up on, hanging up on in that club. That's a married man, girl. That is a married man. Would y'all look good together if he was single? Of course. You're a beautiful woman. He's a handsome man. All right. But that's not where it's at. That's not where it's at. That's not where it's at, Portia. Okay. You're messing around. You're fooling around. You're getting too close to this married man. Even though you got your man you said you had. Yes, you did. You keep calling yourself Mrs. Gabadia. But yet, there's no marriage certificate anywhere there is no <laughs> wedding band that you want to show us you just got that friendship ring you call it an engagement ring but i call it a friendship ring because baby girl like i said in plenty of my past videos if he wanted you he would have put a ring on it and put walked you down that aisle or went to the justice of the peace whichever y'all could get to first without any concerns okay but a negative but girl, I was shocked as shit when I saw on your timeline, you had what I had on my video. Just had more clear pictures, okay? I'm 54. I had to get what I get when I be trying to do this shit. Because sometimes my daughter don't have time to show me. And she gets mad when I put blurry pictures out there. But it's just, it's not, I make it do what it do. Because it's all about the commentary. It's all about me talking about you or whoever I'm talking about. But child, I was like, Thank you. Thank you for paying attention for, to my little channel on what I got going over here when I'm talking about you and your comments and goings. Like I said, I be dropping down wisdom and I be dropping down nuggets. I want to see you win. But girl, 
winning is not a part of going chasing a man to another whole damn country continent okay that's not where it's at that's not where it's at and if father time couldn't have taken you with him on the day that he left girl that means you weren't supposed to be there now if he's concerned about his mother and he wants to put you and solidify you as mrs gabadia don't you think he would have told you to come on over him because I'd be damned if I would have let him went over there by himself, okay? Because he might get to creeping and doing other unsolicited things behind my back. Because, hey, he already told you he cheated. Yeah, he did. He didn't cheat on Fallon, but he cheated in the past. So what's to stop him from cheating on you, Portia? Nothing. Let me say it again. Nothing. Because he's going to do what he want to do. When he get ready to do it. And he's going to throw this uh, hellacious lie up in your face. And saying well my dad and my grandfather did it. Because you already told him. You Americanized. Alright. And he got to think the American way. But in the American way. You still have cheaters Portia. So that was a dumb idea. And that was a dumb ass uh, statement you made to this man over dinner. Okay, but it just is what it is. But I had to come and make this quick little video, guys. Didn't want to hold you up too much. I was just saying somebody told her about I had a video of her comings and goings. Or she dropped down, peeping out the bushes, hiding on the sideline, trying to see what's being said. Because quiet is just kept loud, so I'm going to speak it out. You need to be talked about to be staying relevant in them streets. And if the bloggers didn't talk about you, Okay, who else gonna talk about you? Who else gonna keep the storylines going for you? But hey, is the door closed at Bravo? I think so. I think you need to hook up with Carlos King or whatever. Because from what that trailer looks like on the Real Housewives of Atlanta come May 1st, girl, <laughs> Sanya is showing out. And they look like they going to get into Drusador ass. And hopefully she'll be going out the door. Alright, so we can bring some new people in. Some new talent, okay? Because they already got Drew looking like you. And we don't need two of you. No ma'am, no son, no lord, no god. We don't need two of you. But it just is what it is. But y'all, I just had to show y'all that. I laughed my ass off when I saw that. That's a, it's Portia looking for a little old me. I know her fanatics are over here tripping out and this, that, and the third. So, they got to be talking over in her comment sections of what's going over here. But, it's all good. It's all gravy. Because, like I said, I'm down for the kids. I'm down for a solid relationship. And, from what I'm looking at, Portia is in a debacklement. She is crying out for help. And, nobody won't give her the straight tea without the chaser. Okay, I'm giving it to her straight up. No chasing going on. And she needs to be paying attention. Okay, before she look around and the daughter she thought was still a little going to be done grow up on her ass. And going to be ready to tell her how she felt about certain things. Where was she when she needed her? Out there tracing the streets with Simon. That's what she was. That's what gets my goat because you're because Portia was mad. Because her own mama did her the same way. In her book. The Pursuit of Portia. If y'all didn't get it. She talked about her mama being too busy. Trying to build a successful sustainable life for them. That her mother wasn't there for her. You see what I'm going with this? You see how the tables are turning. But they still the same old shit. Going around like a generational curse. You're doing the same shit to your daughter that you felt your mama did to you. And you don't even recognize it. So I'm going to be here. As long as I got a boy, as long as I got a child, I'm going to be here to tell you about it. So maybe you will get a clue, buy a clue. I don't know where you're going to get the clue. But you can sit there and be there for your daughter. Stop chasing this man. Because see, this man has already told you, Portia, that. He don't want no more children. Even though he made that little deal about um, he want to impregnate you. For what? He don't take care of the other ones. Alright. He just want to show them as a optic tool to show that he's the perfect parent. Well, we know he ain't. We know he ain't. Because people don't came out against him about that. Simon needs your attention. He wants your attention. He don't care 
where you have to put PJ, where you have to go and arrange things. But when he wants you, he wants you. To me, that's selfish. Because once you bring kids in the, 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 the uh, perimeter, in the situation, you don't have no more space. Ask the people that got four or five kids. Or hell, just two or one. That child going to be on you like white on rice, like grease to some fried chicken. You hear what I'm saying? To some buttermilk, to some cornbread. All right? Some corn on the cob with butter slattered all around it. And you're not giving her that. You're not giving her. I could see if you were an entertainer, you were a singer, uh, or, or, or what do you call it? A musician, and you just on tour making money, trying to um, make it do what it do so your child don't have, have to have a hard life or whatnot. But you ain't doing that. You're just running up and down these damn streets, thinking everything is a party every single day, and you need a glass of champagne or wine or Hennessy to get you to the correct state of mind that you want to be. Okay? Then you got Simon over there smoking cigars and drinking brown look as well. That's just a hot mess. I don't know how these people that go for you so hard thinking you're living your best life. You're not living your best life. You truly are not living your best life. And when are you going to come out them clubs? When are you going to come out them clubs? Because you said the Lord delivered you from the clubs, Portia. You see, that's why nobody can't stand you behind. You just sit and lie all the time. Just lie. Just lie to be lying. And then when somebody catch you in the mess and want to hold you accountable, then you start acting ugly. Get it together, Portia. Get it together. And then I'll leave you alone. But until you don't, until you not get yourself together, I'm pretty sure you're going to post something that I'm going to have to have a conversation about. Over here in the house, the Dale Chanel 48 World House. Okay, like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't really matter. We're going to be talking about it. We're going to be discussing it. But that's all I have, guys. I'll be back with another video. I got to get on Portia because I don't know if it's true. I got to get on Portia again because I don't know it's true, but I have words. I need to talk about it. Is it for real? Did you call? Did you hit up Candy Burr's girl? Trying to ask her for some tips on how she can get back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because you think Candy got the golden key to permit people to come back or not? Well, I don't know. Girl, she might do. She got Kenya back on. Okay, she got Kenya back on. And Miss Marlo Hampton got her peach finally. Hmm, I wonder did Candy have anything to do with it? It would be plausible. It could be plausible because they like Candy. They don't like you, Portia, no more. You made a mess. You made a mockery out of them and yourself. And they cut you dry. They cut you loose. And that's why they're not answering the door when you over there ringing, bamming on it. They ain't, they, they say, keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. I got season 14 ready to hit the fan. Go keep a knocking, but you can't come in. They ain't got time for you right now, Portia. They don't put all their they money into the Dubai uh, show coming out, the Dubai Housewives. Then they got the Largos Housewives, you know. I wonder if the video wife going to be on there, girl. That would be something, wouldn't it? And she'll probably give us the real tea about you. Because I'm sure she saw all the pictures that you up there hanging with her husband. Girl, don't get slapped and, and, and uh, beat down in Nigeria. <laughs> don't get slapped down and beat down in Nigeria, girl. Because I hear them women can fight, girl. They don't be playing by their man or their money. And they be for... They be for